Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Got a little quick tip for you today, working on a mix, and this lead vocal has retune and a RX declicker on it. Uh, retune just because it needs some pitch correction, and declicker because there's some nasty clicks and pops and mouth noises and stuff that is tedious and slow to manually edit. Declicker is an amazing thing that just instantly cleans it up and usually does a really great job. The downside of using it is that it has a lot of latency. And if we look here, CPU is not a big problem. It's only 1.7% on this entire track, all the plugins, but this is a lot of latency. What makes it a problem is starting and stopping really quickly just to hear little changes and things. I'm so, sick of the social. so it takes a moment for it to start and it also continues playing uh, until it gets to the end of this of its buffer. So it's annoying, and there's a really easy way to fix that using track freeze. We can freeze the entire effects chain, but because I'm still mixing and I'm done with tuning and declicking for now, um, I'm just going to select them both, I'm going to right click and freeze track. I'm going to freeze track to mono up to last selected effects. So that's only going to do these two plugins, my EQ, deesser, and compressor are all still live. Because those plugins have very little CPU and very little latency, I won't have that problem anymore. So track freeze just creates a wave file um, up to that point in the signal chain. It's before the fader and panning and things like that. You can choose mono or stereo depending on what you need. And it puts in a, a new wave file in place of that that is locked. It sounds exactly the same as before. Only if we look at the plugin chain, only 1024 samples now, which is my audio interface buffer size. So that is not a problem. You only run into those noticeable delays once you exceed your audio buffer size. So now I can start and stop and I won't have that uh, annoying problem. I'm so sick. Stops immediately. It's much easier to mix like that. If we want to unfreeze that, we just come back to the effects chain right click, freeze track, and click on unfreeze. Now we'll undo that commitment. It will remove this audio file, put in the original ones again, and we can continue mixing, making changes to the tuning and things like that. We can also right click on the track, go to track freeze, and it is there, restore previous items and effects. So that's it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, support the Reaper blog through Patreon, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.